Good oh. morning, guys. Welcome to today's video. Today, Gabby and Sophie just checked the chickens. Afternoon. Afternoon. Our chickens are afternoon layers. That's one thing I never knew about chickens before we got chickens a few years ago, is that they lay, they don't wake up and lay. Other chickens woke up and laid. Yeah, we have a list of things we need to get today. So many things. Oh, and I'm so excited because I'm going to start my chicken business up again. Yeah. But I'm also going to be selling chickens. Yeah. You guys know that we want to move to a bigger farm. And when we move to a bigger farm, like my biggest excitement level is to get more chickens. We, Sophie and I want to do like really nice chickens. A bunch of really nice breeds. Yeah, I really want purple eggs. We want purple eggs. We want green know, eggs. We want blue eggs. Nice. We have pink eggs right now. So that's super cool. Molly's new thing is going to that door over there whining yeah she started whining this week didn't she yeah because she wants to go pee yes instead of up carpet. yes well she doesn't really pee a lot in the house never has that really peed a lot in the house she tries to ring the bells and then when nobody notices yeah, so that's so super good. Like she is definitely a smart puppy. She's pretty much potty trained now. She's almost potty trained. Um, she has peed. We have a pee pad in the house that we use for the little dogs because they are not very good at potty training. Gabby, and she, I saw her use it the other day. So she's she's never been trained to use it, but she did use it last night. Gabby and Sam and Sophie went to the store and left the puppy here with me. Oh man, did she cry? She was whining and whining for Gabby. So if anyone is wondering, yes. Yes, I'm aching. I am aching from my waist to my knees. No, not that bad. Just in my pelvis area, like my thighs. It's my thighs, they're burning. Literally okay, for two ride, days after you, you ride, it's agony. If you guys are older and you have never ridden a horse, you should know this. It's literally the most awful thing. Like- No, you should ride horses, it's fun. Like literally? It's a spot that never, ever, ever grows muscle unless you ride a horse. It's the only exercise that grows the muscles between your thighs. And oh man, you can't even sit down to pee without screaming. Okay. All right, let's do it. Is it worse than a sprained wrist? It's bad. I've never had a sprained wrist. I have. <laughs> no, you. Oh, Chino says, get over here and give me my breakfast. Dude, I do not know what we're gonna do with you. Now storm's banging. So yeah, it's true. I'm really worried about Chino. He's the only big one. He's not banging. The shoes did not, like, for his... Mm, Why's there a clock? For what his problem is, the shoes should have made him completely back to normal. And they did not. And he's still not back to normal. And it's about to be show season, probably, and we have a lame horse, so... Oh, I just picked up a piece of poo in my hand. If he doesn't get better this week, he's getting pads on his feet. Pads. Like what Stella had, and she had some stone brew. It's like we're walking through the war zone. Everybody's waiting. I'm sorry, did we take too long for you? Did we take too long? Back it up. Back it up. Good girl. Good girls. Do not try and take that out of my hand. Oh gosh, which one is which? All right, I think you are green. Hold on. There you go. I mean, they get the same food. And you are purple. Over here, so she doesn't kick you. There we go. Hopefully you guys aren't, hopefully I did it the right one. Hopefully you guys aren't like, no, you did the wrong one. Oh, that's so funny. Ponies still have quite a lot of grass in here. Once the grass is all gone, you'll be able to see how much bigger the paddock is. In the camera, it makes it look like this paddock is really small. This is a big paddock for two little minis. Like, it's not too small at all. So, they've pretty much eaten this part down. They have all that, and I don't know how much of it is weeds, though. That's the problem. Here's a story for you guys, and I don't know how real this is. This is just what I think, and sometimes I do think some crazy things. So, when I had Stella, do you guys remember Stella? When, do you guys remember when I had Stella? And she had that first injury after we went camping. Right around the time when Stella got sore on her front feet, I woke up one morning and my heel was in excruciating pain. Do you guys remember that? It was two summers ago, three, two summers ago. I had this really horrible pain in my heel. I couldn't walk for the, almost the whole entire summer. And literally, 
It was about six months before the pain went away. The pain went away when I fell and broke my pelvis. Then the pain in my heel was so minor I didn't notice it anymore and then it just gradually faded away. But I remember saying to you guys that I felt like, <laughs> Gracie's like, whoa, the fence is gone. <laughs> she was so shook. <laughs> Go have breakfast, little Minnie. The Minnie is lame after her, after her trim. She jerked a funny way and he ended up cutting a little bit too much off, I think, and uh, so she's just lame. Sometimes that happens. Anyways, so I remember telling you guys, like, I think that I'm feeling what Stella has. Like, I feel like, and I believe that. I believe that God gives you signs in any way that he can, and sometimes when he gives you a sign, it's like feeling the same pain that somebody else is feeling. And so I was lame in my left front foot and she was lame in the front too and she ended up getting pads on her feet and we did all these things to help her we gave her injections and she did really well it was all good so a couple of days before chino turned up lame i the night before chino turned up the night before or two nights before i was just about to wake up and i saw him walking and he was lame on one of his front feet anyways he was out in the arena and he was walking and he was lame and i was like oh please don't be lame and at the same time that same exact day I twisted my ankle so I, I didn't really say it in the vlogs but just walking around I don't even know how it happened but walking around on our property we have like a lot of holes going down to the pool like not even land and so I'm always super careful but I twisted my ankle you know that feeling like that pulling kind of aching feeling but it's not so super bad that you can't hack it it's just like an, an aggravated feeling yeah i've been feeling that feeling this entire time and today it feels a little stronger a little tighter a little less sore so i'm wondering if that's a sign that she knows going to be better i know it seems crazy but like i said i believe that god gives you signs the only way that he can he does it through dreams and he does it through thoughts that he puts in your head he does it through songs that you hear. He does it through videos that you watch. He does it from people telling you things. Like, God is very good at getting the point across. So I don't know if that is what's happening. I hope so, because I feel like my ankle is starting to heal up. And I hope his is too. I have had so many people ask me in the last 24 hours, where did the girls get these amazing hunter shirts? They got them from... I just happened to wear one. Yeah, she just happened to wear it today. They got them from Halter equestrian apparel halter and equestrian. One that you can get jumper. yeah and there's a blue one i like a burgundy one that says hunter would you like a burgundy one that says hunter no oh really you just like the green mm -hmm. abby said she doesn't have a burgundy saddle pad to match it so that's why she doesn't want the red or burgundy but she would like a red a bright red one to match her red saddle you know pad what what yeah Your butt is dusty i know i was sitting on the stairs <laughs> <laughs> you're so cute He's yeah, let him eat his grain in peace. Leave the horses in oh, peace. Who got it though? I saw you from across the room. When I was mad, I never knew that I could feel this way, and it's kind of strange. are going to come into the new field today and I wanted Sam to walk along the back and make sure all the fence line is secure yeah why couldn't we get that because I forgot so now Gabby has to I do it bad news. so yeah horses are in a new field and this is the one that makes me the most nervous because it's so close to the road oh look there's Miss Molly every change brings a little bit of nervousness with me it takes me always a few days to get comfortable and feel safe Molly get out of the field Get out! Oh my goodness. Um, so today while the girls do the indoor chores, I'm going to clean Chino's water bucket, give the boys in that field some water, and I'm gonna poop pick Chino's field. Since Chino's alone in the field, he just took it out of the bucket himself. I'm able to give him a lot of hay. Uh oh. He actually has never eaten an entire bucket of hay. Like the, Do I give this 
to a beehive. You're, you're gonna go and give that flower to a beehive. A you're gonna go put it in a beehive. No, we need to study bees. I said, do I? We're gonna study bees. We need to study bees. So basically, I give him all his hay for the whole day in the morning because the other horses come in in the afternoon and I don't give them hay in the afternoon. So he literally will not eat all the hay that I give him in the morning. He will not eat it for the entire course of the day. He never finishes it. But I wanna make sure that he has as much as he can get because he still could use some pounds on that body and I don't wanna give him more grain than he already gets. Confidentino surgery. Then he used to be skinny. Yeah. Okay, he's gonna take all the fat from Santa then put it on Santa. He's got a little bit of fat there. Like, he's not too bad, but he's just a tall, skinny horse. Uh -oh. You could literally crawl underneath him, but you should not. Yeah, I don't People recommend stand it. Under, we'll sit underneath him. All right, let's get to work. Chore time. Can we do that after? The horses seem to really be enjoying their new field. I'm gonna be so worried about them in this field, you guys. I've already shared my worries about this field. The fence is all good in that back back there. No one has a You say that you're from out of town. I'm hoping that you stick around. Show me what it's like from the other side. Would you stay in the noticed but our horses typically poop outside of the center of the field they poop along the edges and I've noticed it before horses go off to a spot where their food is not so that they can poop there I've also witnessed especially boys peeing and pooping on their hay while they're eating it maybe to mark it I don't know but they do do that as well but for the most part, our, I've noticed that our horses do go off and go to the bathroom in a separate spot from where they eat. All right, so I'm having a rest. I'm here with Sophie. Molly, you're not allowed to leave your... Oh. Anyway, Sophie and I are really wanting to do a prank on Gabby, right? But we don't know what to do. Like, it has to be something okay. really good. So, you get foam soap, and you put it, put food covering in it, the same color, and then it'll dye her hands. I want to do that. That's a good one. All right. Don't worry, I watch more Just Amira. She's got she, all the pranks? She pranked her mom all day. Mm -hmm. We prank people. I want pranks for Gabby and for Sam, not for Sophie. Oh, for... <laughs> Ouch. Do that to dad all the time. Um... Um, let's just make a list for everybody who we want to prank. Yeah, but and I want to do a prank on Gabby and Kaylee. I think that would be fun too. But we don't know very many good pranks, like especially horse pranks. So we need your guys' help. I know what to do with Dad. Put eggs in his shoes. Oh, that would be so then, if he puts his foot in his shoe, then he steps on the egg. <gasps> you look good at this. Well, I've done the egg one on Dad before. Oh, and what did he step on it? No, I think we did it with oranges. Oh yeah, oranges. No matter where life leads us, honestly, this little farm is always gonna be my happy place. This little arena, this bench in this little arena, always gonna be my happy place. It's just such a happy place. Is it a happy place for you? Yeah. Call this little area our courtyard. Even though it's not really a courtyard, but I always wanna have a courtyard. So this is our courtyard and I just cut the grass. I think the time has come that we need another wheelbarrow. One wheelbarrow is not enough for this family. Even though it's a giant one, it's just not enough. We also need horse treats. Goodbye, sweet pony. We're going up to have our breakfast now. Girls just finished their breakfast. We'll be back to feed you lunch in a little bit. Okay? Do they stay out there for an hour or half an hour? They stay out there for an hour, sometimes a little longer, however long it takes for us to finish. Some people have been asking why do we give our horses hay even though they're on grass? And it is because they're not on grass 24 seven, so they can't, they only eat grass until one, and they can't just have grass till one. Like, they need to eat more times than that. So, 
we give them so we give them hay same with the ponies the ponies don't really need any more grass than they get but they stop eating it so early in the day that I don't want their bellies empty so we give them a tiny bit of lunch and then they get their regular supper as well it kind of makes me sad that the horses are all the way over there I love them in this field closest to us yeah, then we don't have to walk as far. Spoken like a true lazy girl. Okay, so we are headed out to do our weekly shopping. You guys know the drill. It is shavings and grain and dog food and chicken food. Nope, we have chicken food. All the stuff that you need when you have horses. All the stuff that you need to buy weekly. I am actually about to make a video telling you guys exactly how much it costs us to have our horses every single week. I might do that today if I get time. Gabby be looking shopping ready. Are you actually gonna go in the store? Yes. Oh, okay, let's oh, do it. My actually, I forgot I wanted to tell you guys something. Um, some people are asking about how come we've been riding our horses in the wrong saddle. Oh, and I keep forgetting to tell you guys that um, when you buy a high-end saddle, I know some people are going to disagree with me, but I even verified this with every single rep that we've dealt with in the past. But when you buy a high-end saddle, they're made with different material than a cheaper saddle. High-end saddles are designed stretch and move with different horses. Oh, blue today. So everybody who, all the people who own high-end saddles will ride different horses in their same saddle. So when you buy a really high-end saddle. Are my eyes blue today? Your eyes are green, the same today as they were yesterday. Green they every single day. Blue. Thank you so much for interrupting me. So now they I don't remember. Blue today. They're green. <laughs> you were talking about high-end saddles. So yeah, so that's the reason that we chose to buy a high-end saddle. That's the reason we spent so many thousands of dollars on each of the girls' saddles is because typically when you buy a high-end saddle, you buy the saddle to make sure it fits your horse, but also you make sure that it fits you and as long as your saddle fits you it usually will adapt i mean you still try it and make sure that if you're if you're going to ride in a different horse with that saddle you still make sure that it fits um we did have the fitter try the saddle when he came on finn and on storm to make sure that they both are good in it and they are both good in both of them and um so when I get a saddle, I basically know exactly what size I need, what saddle I need. I just need to get it to fit me and then I can ride any horse with it. Brandon rides any horse with his high-end saddle. If you have a high-end saddle, man, it is a game changer. See, I... Your big chicken staying in the car by yourself. What else are up to? Oh, we should... Are these the cool ones? I don't know. The Ask them. Read the tag. I like that big blue one. It's that nice light blue one. Oh yeah, you want one with sides on it, right? No, not really. Hard. Look at the dog. <laughs> I like that dog actually. Yeah, it reminds me of our our golden doodle. It's really cute. She's still a puppy? Yeah, it was from here, yeah. Oh, she's really cute. Yeah, they have all the pink um, Kongs here. We ordered pink and it came um, blue. There's a lazy thing for your cat. A lazy thing for a cat? Oh, no. Molly chewed hers. Yeah, Molly chewed her collar, but you so bought her a new big. one. No, that was the new one that I bought her. Oh, she chewed the new collar. Yeah, we're at the chew. We're at the revolving <laughs> collars. Come on, we have to go. Somebody else is ready to come in. That's the problem in small towns when the people know you. And you get talking, they like get all the things that you love and stock their store with them. <laughs> so she asked me um, when I was getting my grain, did you ask me to order you a leash? And I was like, no, I don't need a leash. And Maybe you did. Yeah, and then I, I said no. Like, I think you did though. So then like, when she came out. I remember you asked for a hands-free leash one. Well, like, she didn't say a hands-free leash. She said, did you, I asked me to order you a leash. I'm like, no. And then when she came out to give me my grain and my shavings, um, she said, I thought, um, she said, somebody asked me to order them a hands-free leash. And I'm like, oh, a hands-free leash. Yeah, I did. So it was 30 bucks, $29.95. Molly's at the perfect age for this now. And so that's so good. Like, I'm you so glad that I asked collar. her. Yeah, I, I, I like, and then. It has unicorns on it. Pink. It does have unicorns? Yeah. Let's show them. So, oh yeah, it's super cute. So Molly chewed, broke a one collar, 
and kind of grew out of it. And then chewed her brand new collar that Gabby she bought her. She did not break it, but she broke The it. other one that she chewed was really thick, so hopefully this one is, like, the thinness of it will help. So Molly, we will defeat you, but. I think but it was because it's too big that she could actually grab. That's what I think, too. That it was big enough that she could grab it. Where's that handsome free thing? Yeah, I wanna but I am in love with this. Did you guys know? That as long as Molly has her second set of shots, she can actually kind of like start going on walks and stuff with Gabby, go running with Gabby. And um, she's getting her next set of shots, I think on Monday. So we'll be good to go. So this is what my trunk looks like on shopping day. So I ended up being in trouble when I was shopping today, first time. Is a worker? Yeah, a worker. She, so I was in the aisle all by myself and I walked a little bit too far past what I needed. So I just backed up a little bit. Like I didn't turn around and walk against the arrow. I just backed up a little and she came down the aisle and she's like, you're going the wrong way. And I'm like, I'm just backing up. <laughs> like, oh my gosh. It's like a battlefield when you go shopping. already bought all of our license for we paid over four hundred dollars no we paid over three hundred dollars to show there canceled for the whole year there's no rated shows oh, Mom, I think I win. none well there's no rated show for us anyway no trillium show none so i was so mad no i'm just joking i actually am not that mad because one they uh said that they're gonna put all of our yeah, this is not a frog. A Wait, if I'm a frog, if a boy kisses me? Oh no, you have to kiss a frog, darn. Somebody kiss me and see if you turn into a princess. No. <laughs> um, but anyways, they agreed that uh, to carry our fees over, so next show season we don't have to pay, which is super cool because we already paid. And also, like we just got Chino a few months ago, a couple months ago, January, February, March. That means that I'm more talented at beating them then. So like next year, it takes a full year. You guys know this. It takes a year before your horse and you really settle into a. This is how Gabby gets in the car, you guys. <laughs> Interesting. Way to go, Gabby. So um, yeah, like it takes a year. So next year he will not be lame, <laughs> hopefully, and he will be. I'm not waiting a year. For really, they'll be. Oh, well, they'll be. You first. cannot drive one. No, I cannot drive one. <laughs> Your happiness just died, Molly. You are now attached to Gabby 24-7. Oh my God, that would be such a good video. Contrary to popular belief, I do buy some things secondhand. Today, I picked up a new blanket. Blankets that our horses don't even wear. Um, so this is a rain sheet Finn. for Finn. Smells like another horse? It doesn't smell like anything. Ugh. Yeah, we're so used to the smell. It's a 72, but it doesn't look that big, does it? Let's go try it on. Well, Gabby's ha tacking him up. I'll so, try it on after. So you guys we know that- It's summer though. I know, but if it's raining and there's no shelter, we can leave them out as long as they have a blanket on. And it's so, cute. It is so super cute. You guys know that we have um, insulated rain sheets and I don't like to put those on them when it's hot outside. So um, I- you know it, Before when it rained, we were looking for these. Before when it rained, you were looking for those? Yeah, we couldn't even find one. And we have three? Yeah. I, I'm sure we have more than three. I'm going up to the house to make tacos. It is Taco Monday at our house. I'm making tacos, are you excited? Yes, because I'm hungry. I know, that's why I said, you video the girls and I will go and cook. Yeah, it goes with your shirt, but yeah, not with him. Well, Gabby's in the ring with Finny boy. It's a really nice day out today. Did he just poop over there? We need a bucket and a thing out here.
out of this one That was a good ride. A bit fast though. Was he a bit fast? Yeah, he wasn't listening to my hat faults. Just wanted to go. You're all sweaty, Finn. You're all sweaty. You're a sweaty boy. Because we had a good ride last time. So, you know. You're all sweaty.